So the Ticats lose to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders 32-20 on Saturday night. I'm here with the Specs, Steve Milton. Steve, the weather is bad. It was, actually wasn't this bad during the game, uh, but there was one play in this game that you think turned the tide. Third and one, I don't know what, nine, ten minutes to go. They've, they've uh, come back. It looks like they're going to pull within uh, five points, maybe four if they went for two. Uh, and and they don't make it at third and one. Second time within uh, within uh, eight days that they don't make third and one key point in the game. Uh, that's the one that Ken Austin was extraordinarily angry at, and I wouldn't be surprised if he really, really reamed out his offensive line on that. There really is no excuse, especially in the ensuing drive when a backup quarterback, Drew Lilly, makes third and one twice to make, uh, to allow them to hang onto the ball. They score there. I would venture to say they had a very good shot of winning the game, and I would say they probably would have won the game. Injuries also an issue for the Ticats. Lost a, another bunch of guys during this game. Brandon Isaac went down. Uh, Darren Diedrich went down. There was Marwan Hage went down. Uh, Lamar what's, goes down yeah. on a spear. It looked like to me. It looked to me like the uh, Saskatchewan players speared him. And clearly, Kent Austin. He didn't say it directly, but he's going to be sending that to the league and asking for a suspension. And I think he'll get one. Ticats now play in Edmonton next Friday and then have the bye week, play back-to-back -back against Winnipeg. These are the bottom feeders of the East and the West Division. A big set of games I coming up. Have, I think, Drew, they have to go 2-1 and one here. You don't want to put numbers on things, but you really can't put yourself... You cannot get swept by Winnipeg in this situation because they're in the division. Puts a lot of pressure on the Edmonton game, but they've got to start winning some games here, and especially at home. That's two out of three at, at home that they've lost. Now, if they didn't have bad luck they'd have none at all uh, part of part of it being the rain that limited the crowd of course the record doesn't help the crowd uh and and then the injuries are are just brutal and i thought losing isaac was very very key because they had forced saskatchewan to go to a seven-man line offensive line very early because they were getting pressure on them and the only way to combat that is to to come at them blitz from different angles once once you lost isaacs you can't you can't blitz from that side of the field that's one less option that they had to take care of and i thought that was really key Make sure you check out uh, the Scratching Post blog for all the news uh, from this game as well as Monday Spectator for Steve's column. Reporting from Guelph for the Hamilton Spectator, I'm Drew Edwards.